In this video, I'm going to go through an example calculation of calculating an orthogonal vector or an ortho orthogonal state to a given state. So in this case, we have state psi, we have our normalization coefficient, 1 over square root of 5, and then it's i spin up plus 2 spin down. This is just what the state is. If you want to make some argument about changing the um, this to be 1 and keeping the relative phase, that's fine, but at least in this video, I'm going to use this state. What does it mean for the state to be orthogonal? That means that our inner product is equal to 0. So I want to find my state phi such that this is true. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by assuming a general form, and then we do the calculation to find the constraints. So if I start writing my psi state as this, a spin up plus b spin down, we know that there's going to be some overall normalization that we also need to do at the end. So now I want to transform it into a bra state, and we take that complex conjugate, don't forget about that since these coefficients are potentially complex, plus b star. And so now we're going to go ahead and do this calculation out. So when I say that my um, overlap here, my inner product, is equal to zero, we then expand it in these basis states. So first I start with this one, a star plus b star, and there is some overall phase that we're going to choose at the end. And then here we have now what that psi state actually is, and I use lots of nested uh, brackets as you can see. Okay, so I unnest my brackets. Okay, so now we need this to equal zero. As always, we're going to FOIL it out. So this state will give us one, and this state will give us one. The other states, this minus with this plus, this minus with this plus, will give us zero and not going to contribute. So what we now have is that zero, and I'll take this first state, don't forget about this term. So I'm going to just first do this first term. So a star i over square root of 5 plus plus. And now I'm going to worry about this state. Again, don't forget about this 1 over square root of 5. So I have plus uh, b star 2. Switching the order would be fine if you prefer that. Minus, minus. So again, I encourage you when you're first practicing doing this to write out those other two terms. My board space is so limited, I'm not going to do it. So this equals 1, this equals 1, those other two terms were 0. So what we're left with here is, I'll pull out this 1 over square root of 5, and then we have i a star plus 2 b star. Here's what's interesting. I can multiply both sides by square root of 5, on the left I have 0. So that leaves 0 equals i a star plus 2 b star. This is giving us a relationship between a star and b star. And obviously those relate to our original coefficients. Now what we could do is choose a star to be real and we can either say that these are going to be normalized, in which case we have a constraint that a star plus, oh, sorry, uh, magnitude of a squared plus magnitude of b squared equals 1. And so we could use this constraint and this constraint to actually determine what these are. Now, another option is that we actually explicitly included a normalization coefficient. Um, there's a few different ways to approach it. But so I've run out of space, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here. But what you can see is that we're using this overlap technique to actually come up with a constraint. So from this, we, for instance, want to solve for b star. And we see that b star is going to e be equal to negative a star i over 2. And so we could go back and plug this in and actually solve for a uh, this way. So take this and plug it into there. That would allow you to actually solve for, for a star slash a, and then you can use this final constraint to get 
be as well. There's going to be some overall phase that you can always choose. And so it's, it's actually quite typical to choose this first coefficient to be real rather than choosing it to be imaginary as, as we've done here. So I hope that at least helps you get started with these calculations of finding these orthogonal uh, states to our original state.